Hi! Gusto mo malaman ay isang sekreto upang hindi ka magbayad ng penalty sa BIR? Okay, so makinig ka sa video na to hanggang dulo. Sa screen ko makikita mo rito yung isang uh, BIR tax form, which is ang tawag is BIR tax form 2303 o Certificate of Registration. So, ano ba ito? Bawat isang business establishment na tinatayo sa Pilipinas, dapat ang bawat businessman ay mag-comply uh, sa requirement ng BIR na magrehistro. So, isa tong patunay na ang, ang business mo ay legal pag meron kang certificate of registration. Nakasulat din dito kung ano yung mga type ng tax na babayaran sa BIR at ang isa rito yung tinatawag na registration fee. Ano ba ang registration fee? Ang registration fee ay binabayaran annually. Kung may bagong business na tinayo, magbabayad ng registration fee at even yung renewal. Pero ang deadline nito is on or before January 31 of every year. Just to share, kung halimbawa isa kang business na nagtayo 2-3 years ago, pero gusto mo na siyang isara, tapos nang pumunta ka ng BIR, because for example, gusto mo siya isara ng after January 31, sabi mo, ay sasara ko naman siya ng February or March. So, hindi na lang ako magbabayad kasi wala naman ako intent na ituloy yung business. Um, dapat pa rin, kahit hindi ka, kahit hindi mo itutuloy yung business, pero pag dumaan talaga yung January 31, kasi nasa batas yan, dapat magbayad ka pa rin ng annual registration fee. Kasi, ang, ang thought process dyan is that, kung halimbawa, February or March mo siya isasara, nag, nag, nagkaroon pa rin ng business, nag-operate pa rin yung business mo, starting January 1 until yung time na isasara mo siya. So, hindi ka pa rin makakaligtas ka BIR kasi part of the requirement in closing the business is ipapakita mo kung timely ka nagbayad ng annual registration fee. So, assuming middle of the year ka nagpunta ron at balak mo nga siyang isara, Merong, ang mga ang penalty for not pay, paying on time, yung annual registration fee is meron kang surcharge, which, which is 25% of the base of the annual registration fee, which is 500 every year. Tapos may compromise fee ka pa ng babayaran 1,000 from uh, interest per annum, which is 20%. So, assuming nangyari yun, dun, dun ka pumunta, so ang surcharge fee would be 500 times 25%, which is 125. Yung compromise fee na 1,000, yung interest per annum, at assuming uh, middle of the year ka pumunta, which is 500 times 20% times 6 over 12. That's the formula of interest. Tsaka yung base, of course, na registration fee na 500. So, essentially, nagbayad ka ng 1,675 versus kung nagbayad ka sana on or before January 31 na 500 lang. So, ayun, di ba? Medyo hassle. So, yun nga yung sekreto. Para maiwas ka sa pag, pag uh, mapenalize si BIR, ang talagang dapat mong malaman, kailan ba yung due date, no? At dapat magbayad tayo um, on time. Alright? Now, meron ng easy way for us to pay na hindi tayo pupunta doon sa RDO natin. You can download from BIR website, bir.gov.ph, yung eBIR form. So, yung package 7.9.1. So, pag dinownload, kinlik mo yan, it will go normally sa uh, C drive mo. Tapos, makikita mo eBIR form. So, pag kinlik mo yan, magkakaroon ng ganitong icon. So, if that happens, Uh, at kinlik mo, ito na itsura niya ngayon. Yan. Alright? So, ang gagawin natin, um, maglagay tayo ng isang sample um, random company. Alright? Yan. So, sample random company, sample random at gmail. Tapos dito, Piliin mo na yung 0605 kasi iyan yung payment form eh. Alright, so, na-prepill ko na siya kanina. Pero we can fill that up. Alright. Alright. 
medyo may log, no? So, here, um, normally, pipiliin mo yung December 12. Tapos, palitan mo to kasi 2022. Tapos dito, yung due date niya, diba, 01, assuming, ang deadline niya, diba, on or before January 31. So, kung put here, January 30, 2022. Tapos, yung period niya, yung month, which is December, ang binabayaran mo kasi yung yung year 2022, year, at binabayaran mo siya in advance. Just, which is January 1, um, January 31, 2022. Yung ATC, pindutin mo yan dito. Pamimili ka dyan. Ang ATC ay MC180 because in, ito ang ibig sabihin niya, registration fee for VAT or non-VAT taxpayer. So, yun yung pipiliin mo. And then, click OK. And then, yung tax type mo, which is registration fee or F. Alright. And then, taxpayer classification. I stands for individual individual ka, and for non-individual. And then, you click here, Others. At the type mo dyan ng registration fee. And then, click on Full Payment. Tapos, because sabi ko nga, yung halaga ng registration fee annually is 500. And then, after, after nyan, click on Validate. Please select an option on item 1. Ano ba yung item 1? Alright. Pag ganyan, halimbawa may nakalimutan ka, i-remind ka naman ni BIR kung ano yung nakalimutan mo para matuloy yung validation. Yan. So, sinabi niya ito, validation successful. Click on edit pag meron ka pang gusto baguhin. For example, ay mali pala yung hindi siya yung meron may kinilig ka, gusto mong palitan yung number mo, ganyan. Or registered address mo, siguro na iba street or something. Pero pag Okay na siya, then you have to click on save. And then, halimbawa, kinilig mo na yung save. Okay, sabi niya, BIR form save successfully. And then, okay. Pag okay na siya, validate mo ulit. Alright. Kasi kung makikita mo dito, sa bandang ilalim, yung submit and final copy, yung pipindutin mo yon. Pag pinindot mo yon, so, pupunta siya, uh, mapaprocess yan. So, hindi mo na, hindi natin gagawin kasi this is a sample company, no? Um, pupunta siya dun sa email ad na ninominate mo and then after that, makaka-receive ka ng email notification na successfully ka nga nag-register uh, for the payment of registration fee. Ngayon, uh, once you receive that, uh, support mo yon you have to keep that one and even yung PDF file nito and then you are ready now to pay either sa land bank, or basta kung ano man yung BIR accredited bank, or ngayon, very easy, you can pay Gcash. Sa Gcash, meron doon portion na Bureau of Internal Revenue, just click the, click mo yung icon na yon, and then you can pay 500 pesos. And then, you have to also take a snapshot ng pinagbayaran mo, and then send to your email ad, para you can also print it, para you can attach it, itong payment form, yung email, not, yung, yung email, um, notification na receive mo from after you uh, register here and yung payment na binayaran mo through GCash. So, it's very important that you keep a copy of that one kasi minsan hinahanap talaga yun. Alright? So, I hope this uh, short video helps and yun nga, para ma-avoid na hindi ka magbayad ng penalty sa BIR, then we have to pay our taxes on time. Plus the fact na properly dapat din naka-fill out yung information mo rito. Kasi this could be subject also for uh, penalty. Meron nagsasabi, I hear feedback na pag may mali ka rin daw na ilagay, pwede ka rin daw i-penalize ng BIR. But, but just to be safe, everything should tie up with kung ano yung record na nilagay mo sa COR. Kung ano yung address, ano yung, yung exact um, taxpayer name, things like that. Alright? So I hope you learned something today. See you in my next video.